So whenever I'm working on a plan or really any sort of production task, it's all about that production line of like, get your walls done, then get your windows and doors done, then draw in the extra architectural details. It's nice to just pick a task, knock it out. And for instance, like when we worked on these walls, you know, we were being very careful about getting our window sizes really dialed in and perfect. That's gonna pay off because now I don't have to like measure those out. I can just kind of snap it to the points we have. I think the technique for, for now, for this next step of putting in our doors and windows is going to be to turn off our backgrounds and just kind of use the clean layout geometry that we just created for our walls. Let's get to it. Inside a layout here, back to our uh, Conduct 2D scrapbook on that first page, we can zoom in and maybe add a window over here. I'm just gonna pick one of these windows and set it nearby, and then I'll select it. And you can see that this is a quarter inch scaled group. Just like that wall that we threw in here, the windows are the same deal. I can double click in and then select everything, and I'll just kind of stretch it over into place. And yeah, maybe I'll even like scoot it down like that and then stretch it over like that. And I think for these windows, I'm just going to add a line right down the middle like that. And I'll nudge it up just to take a look. It's just a very simple graphic representation of two windows. We're just going to stick with the symbol like this because I want to be able to stretch and scale this thing without distorting any of the pieces. I'll shift nudge that back into place and then hold control, make a copy of it. And then I'll rotate it by 90 and then scoot it over here. Now I can just double click in and select this stuff and then scale it down like that. Let me undo that. I can select everything and scale it. And that way this center mullion line stretches too. I would recommend turning off the backgrounds layer. And that way you can see how we're just going to start to fill this in. We can go back and check that as we need, but you can see that this window type is going to kind of come all the way around. We'll get something a little different here and it's going to go all the way across here. So let's turn off our background and make that happen really quick. You can even right click on this and choose remove scale. And that way you can just make a copy of it like that. When it comes time to stretch it, you don't have to even double click in. You can just kind of grab the whole thing and snap it into place like that. These are doors. Uh, let's work down this side. So again, you know, right click, remove scale is fine. Holding shift to constrain that on an axis. Sometimes I just nudge it to kind of take a quick look at it, stretch it, make a copy, rotate it by 90, snap that into place, make sure we're getting a good clean snap over here. Hold control and shift as I'm making that copy. Snap in there and then hold control. For this window here, I might go to select my fill and then I'm just going to lower that down. We're going to make it white and the opacity is going to be lower and we're going to turn our backgrounds on and that way we can kind of see what's going on. So for this one, I would say double click in and we're going to select this stuff. And so maybe we'll snap one there, make one at the end end and then one here and stretch that into place. It looks like I've set this edge. Oh, I need to arrange, bring to front and then scoot that over there and then hold control and snap it over there. So then I'll turn off my backgrounds and then you can see how that's going to look. The SketchUp 3D Summit is a once in a lifetime opportunity to elevate your design skills, connect with the best and have a blast doing it. We're talking live mind blowing presentations from six of the top SketchUp experts, authors, and extension developers. First class workshops by day, unforgettable networking events by night. Gear up for your journey to the peak of your professional SketchUp workflow. Join me at the SketchUp 3D Summit in Denver this summer. Click the link in the description to learn more and grab your seat today. I'll see you there. That looks pretty clean, right? Just kind of simple drawings. And so now maybe I'll go back over here, make a copy of this window, double click in. We don't need this piece. We can rotate it like this, and then we can snap it into place and then stretch it up here. And then same deal here, make a copy of it. So we've got all of our windows in place. And so now let's go back into our scrapbooks and start working on our doors. Let's start with the front door. I believe that was like a 36 inch opening. So I can set that there, right click and choose flip left to right, and then get a good clean snap to move that into place. So maybe like this door here, I forget what it is. Like you can grab like a 28. No, you can grab like a 30 you know, so that looks about right and set it into place, right click, flip top to bottom like that. And then I'll just make a copy of it like this. And then we'll make a copy of it up here and I'll flip top to bottom like that. So, you know, you see how like you just start
start using the pieces that you have. So like this guy here, you know, we'll copy it. I believe it's going to look something like this. Here's a good tip for you is when you need to scale these, when the door is selected and your select tool is active, you can hit enter to jump into a group. Control A selects everything. And then I want to scale this, but I want to scale it like proportionately. And then I can kind of like hover on this point to encourage that inference and then kind of move away from it just a notch. So that door opens that way. And then if I remember right, I think this door opens something like that. And then double click in, select these guys, hold shift while I'm scaling. When you scale, you are technically distorting this rectangle. So you could stretch it and say like 1.5 inches enter. If you are really, really trying to like keep this thing clean, 1.5 inches enter. Honestly, when it comes to scaling all this around, it, it's going to look fine. So then maybe I'll select this guy here, rotate it, flip it top to bottom. I believe it does something along those lines. And then we can scale this guy back down like that. Uh, we need a little door here. So maybe like an 18 inch door. We'll go with the 24 like this, snap that into place, double click, select them all, hold shift, encourage your inference, you know, and then on this one, you know, maybe I will just kind of stretch it by 1.5 inches enter. And then we got another door down the hallway. I'm going to flip it left to right like that. I think these guys open that way. And then we need a bathroom door. So we'll make a copy of this, rotate by 90, flip it top to bottom, and then snap that into place, scale this guy down down here, you know, getting that clean snap there. And then maybe just do 1.5 inches enter. It looks like we've got all of our doors situated, at least all of our swing doors. Some of their doors they took out, but we're just going to put in sliding doors for all of these different closets. So let's zoom in. We'll start in the master bedroom and I'll add a sliding door and then I'll rotate it by 90 and then we'll snap it into place. I think this is like a good candidate for removing the scale so that I can just scale it like this. I'll snap this guy to, we're gonna snap that on the center line. Hold control, scoot it down, and it would look like that's already set up, like those two are the same. This guy, we can snap to the middle, same deal there, and hold control, and then snap it to that point there. These guys, hopefully, let's see what happens. If we scoot them over this way, set our precise move grip, I need it on the inside, and those are looking like they are the same. So you see how you can use what you got to expedite the drafting process. Before I go any further, I'm going to save this to this project here, and we're going to call this like BD Oak Street. And then we'll do a space dash space existing conditions. Who would have thought layout can be used as a full on drafting solution? You don't need CAD. Let's finish strong by adding the final details to this plan, like stairs, fixtures, and fireplaces. Follow me to this video to see how I do it. Or check out my latest upload here. I guarantee it will level up your SketchUp to layout workflow. Drop a comment before you leave and I'll see you next time.